Welcome back to another FIFA 23 content review on the channel. I'm Slater, and in today's video, I will start by opening the 84x10 upgrade that just dropped in FIFA, and we'll review the brand new Paul Maldini foot birthday SBC that came out. I'll tell you whether he's good or bad value. I'll chapter out the video so you can fast forward Maldini if you don't want to see the 84x10. We'll start with that. We'll go through the new upgrades, all the content like I do every single day here on FIFA 23, and moving into EAFC and dropping an EAFC video here later this week. All summer long, all year long, daily content reviews for you. If you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. If you want to see these type of videos, they help you out on a daily basis. Like the video. If you do like the video, if you don't like it, well, then don't. Um, I'm not for everyone. And let's dive into this freaking content review and figure out what the heck we have today. So I know it's not the 85 by 10, right? That is kind of what footies is all about. We all think about that. But what I will tell you is that the 85 by 10 did not become fully repeatable in the footies promo last year until the third week of the batch. So it's not unrealistic that this is not the 85 by 10. And I think it's going to get like a little bit of hate because it's not the 85 by 10. It's the 84 by 10. They are, it is a way worse pack. There's so many more 84s, which dramatically deteriorates like the ability of you to get really good players in the game. But you can repeat it once a day over the next six days if you'd want to do this. Um, it's an 84 by 10 total pack. Obviously, there's a lot of specials in cards, so it could be fun to do. What I will say is it's, 387 overalls and 86 overall team. You notice here that I put in four um, 87 plus rated players because I just didn't have a ton of the like middle tier fodder. I don't have a lot of 85s and 86s and stuff in my club, so I had to kind of overcompensate to make up for all the 83s that I had. And once again, if you're kind of like strapped as a club, like look, I got four million coins, dude, so I don't care. I'm gonna send it for you guys to watch. If you're like broke as hell and you're like trying to throw in really high rated fodder, it's probably not worth the risk. But if you guys can get this done either through like Footy's Cup um, content they're giving you, maybe the 80 plus player picks help you grind out these type of things. If you can grind the game organically and get this stuff done, I would actually do it. Um, but that being said, let's rip this thing and see what we get from the 84 by 10. Ideally, some really fun specials um, would be really, really cool. And maybe just maybe my first Footy's card of the actual promo would be nice as well. We'll see what happens. And then we'll dive into Maldini um, here in a second. So let me go find this pack, which I'm assuming is at the back end. There it is. 84 by 10. If you open this pack, let me know in the comments below who you get back from it. Here's mine. It is a rule breaker, which is never, I think, that exciting. Um, I think that's Emil Smith Rowe, who might even be a duplicate for me. And if an 86 is the highest rated card in the pack for me, which is very possible, and that was a very bad pack for me. Oh, no, you know what? It's not bad for me, actually. I got a Cruz back, and I got a Varati. Which isn't bad. Moses at Daddy Simon. I got one, two, three, four, five, six walkouts. I put four walkouts into the pack. Um, so you could very reasonably justify, like for me, for example, that this would be somewhat worth it. Now, granted, I put in 288s and 287s, but I got back an 88 and 89 and then multiple 86s. So I think for me, this was very worth it. Um, it gives me a lot of mid tier fodder to help me once again do this again tomorrow. And more importantly, I think than anything, um, it's just fun to do. So if you can get it done and not break the bank for it, give it a, a, a whirl. It probably shouldn't be that expensive of an SBC. I'm guessing that's like maybe a 70k SBC at this point in the game. So if you want to give it a whirl, go for it. Maybe you pack yourself a Ronaldo or an Alvarez or Gomez or maybe um, a team of the Ardenia or something like that would be kind of sweet too. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below who you got back if you open that pack. And then let's dive into Palmadini. Now I have this card um, on this account. I don't really use a main team, uh, but I do... I'm pretty good at defending, and I usually finish um, pretty high in the weekend league. And I will say that Maldini is probably a top three center back for me in this um, years of FIFA. Wait, do I not? Oh, I think I have him as a left back. And then I move him in game, don't I? I was about to say, I look like an idiot if I was like, oh, I had this card and I don't have I know I only says 40 games. I really don't use my main team. I use a new team every single weekend. But what I will say is when I've used this guy, he's absolutely brilliant. Like he... He almost is like kind of unicorn-esque in the way that I think of like a Conte, that they are, compared to other players at their positions, they are uniquely different. They just feel different. They move different. They have different um, animations. Like Maldini is that caliber of player. He just acts differently than a lot of other players that may have even better stats than him. And that's kind of the weird thing with like Maldini because you just saw like St. Juice, for example, just came out in the game. It has like 95 pace and better passing and better dribbling and better physical but would St. Juice be as good of a center back as Maldini in game? No. There are certain cards that just, they, they are bigger than their stats, and he's one of them. So medium high, five star, four star, center back, left back build on the card. Th these are the stats. Like I said, it's just you just got to trust me that this card is just going to play at an incredible level in game. It's just the truth. It's just how he is in game. The, the question is, though, is he worth it? 
like, should you do this SBC? And I'm going to tell you right now whether I think it's good or bad value. So first and foremost, definitely do the bronze and silver. As always, you can do an 82 overall team just to get a loan version. So if you've never tried Maldini, you can kind of get a feel for him before you commit to the full SBC. Internally, he's an 84 overall team with a team league team of season or foot champs card, an 88 overall team, an 89 overall team, an 89 overall team, a 90 overall team, a 91, a 90, and a 92. So he's a little bit steep. It, that's tough. I... I really love Maldini. It's actually difficult for me to sit here and say that it isn't good, like, that you shouldn't do it. Because usually when I see a card like this that I think is really great and that can, like, alter your team, and I do think Maldini is that caliber of player, I typically tell people to do them because even though they are expensive, um, they actually make a bigger impact than doing a bunch of small SBCs over the course of the year. You know what I mean? Getting one big player versus, like, four different small ones. So typically I would, but what I will say is we are we're pretty late in the game. We're pretty late in the game, and the only thing I'm going to tell you is, like, at least we should. You know, footies is all about SPC content. It really is. It's supposed to be. I know they added footy players to packs, like St. Juice, Tim Cahill, Human Sun. Um, you know, we're going to continue to get a lot of really crazy footies SPCs, I'd imagine, over the course of the next three weeks. And it's kind of tough for me to justify, just because you might start Maldini, and, and Maldini is a fantastic card. He's, you know, he's still a million coin, 1.4 million card on the market. I'm sure he's going down in price because this just came out as an SBC. The SBC cost is 1.3. So they really didn't give you too much wiggle room there. They didn't really give you a whole lot of love back in terms of the live price versus the SBC price. I don't think it's like bad value. I think, you know, it's being downvoted. I think it's, I don't think it's bad value. I just think at this point in the game, I can't sit there and justify to you to go do this SBC. There are still a lot of really great center backs that are alive in the game that are really, really cheap right now that you can get easily in your team. And I think for me, I'm, it's kind of like, although Maldini is really cool, really sweet card, foot birthday, dynamic icon. I love it. You know, he's been out for a little while in the game. You might start, start Maldini and like get two, three segments in and then some crazy footies SBC uh, comes out in the next couple of days that you're just absolutely into. And you're like, I just started this monster and now I like, committed to this right so i think for me i would probably avoid maldini i just think there's a lot of great center backs in the game he is fantastic don't let the stats fool you he would be brilliant in game if you get him done you're not gonna be disappointed that you have him as a center back in your team i just think when you see saint juice you see um even i'm telling you like that lordson card is fantastic oh and was even a decent little center back i used him for a while um there's just a lot of really cheap cheap center back SPCs that have dropped recently. There's just a bunch of great center back um, cards that just exist in the game. It's tough for me to sit here and justify you committing to that grind and doing it. So for me, I would avoid Maldini uh, personally because I just think that there's going to be more fun content that you can kind of sink your teeth into rather than committing all of that fodder into a card that technically has been out for you know five months in the game. So that's where I stand there. Then we have the 80 plus player pick. Now you'll see it says XP. Right, because if you complete one of these, you do get an additional um, objective done from one of the XP grinds um, towards season progress. I love that it's a one of four. That's super exciting. In a dream scenario, this is only six players. Let's see. I'm gonna hope that it's six six gold players. Is my hope. Ten. Oh, I don't love that, man. It's a little late in the year for a ten burger. I can't lie to you. Um, I'll do one really quick. It's a little late in the year for a 10 burger EA. That's, I mean, look, you can obviously grind. They just dropped like that um, silver upgrade and bronze upgrade stuff. Like you can grind the game and get these guys done pretty quickly. Like, don't get me wrong. But the problem is, is that what ends up happening in a lot of people's clubs is that they start to lose a lot of players. Like at this time of the year, you get like a lot of high rated, like random cards, rule breakers and winter wild cards and centurions, all these different things. You get those cards in your team, and then, you, like, as a result, you overcompensate with high values, and then you have to put in a lot of lower values. So, continually, if you're doing stuff like this, like, you rinsing 10 players to get one back is actually really bad for your club over the course of footies because you're going to want to have a lot of players. So, this is a little bit of a, I think, a little bit of a reach from EA to put 10 players for an 80-plus gold player pick. I can't lie to you. Um, here is the pick for me. I got literally nothing back, and the valuation of those 10 common golds is so much higher and the valuation of one of these rare. So for me, bad value. I think it's bad value in general, honestly. I'm kind of disappointed in that. I think it should have been six players, maybe seven, um, 10. I know it sounds like not a huge discrepancy, but trust me, man, when you're building 10, 12, 20, 30 of those, whatever it is, you're going to notice like how quickly your club will run dry as you start to build those. So I don't love that from EA. Let's go see if there's any objective content. I wish there was more upgrades too. I can't lie to you. I wish we would have had like 
81 doubles, um, the 80 plus player pick, and then maybe even like, I don't know, maybe like even a, an 86 to an 89 upgrade, like some random thing like that would have been kind of cool. Um, but unfortunately, EA did not do that for us today. I see no new objective content. And in the milestone category, I the menus are really slow on new gen right now. I see nothing new there. So there you go. Maldini, um, 84 by Tenor. If you open 84 by Tenor, once again, let me know in the comments below who you packed from yours. Mine was pretty good. Overall, I'm happy with that. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, man, like I said, sh show some love. It's greatly appreciated. Back again with another one of these beauties tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.